in this video, we're heading over to the Temple of Olympian Zeus. Standing under a fig tree at the Lyceum of Aristotle. So stick around and check it out. We're walking up here on Hadrian's Arch here pretty quick. The Temple of Zeus is really right behind that. That's Hadrian's Arch right there. Back there is the Temple of Zeus. And we gotta walk through the arch uh, over that way in order to get into the archeological site. Hadrian had this arch built when the Romans came and defeated Athens and took it over. He had a lot of respect for the, the ancient Athenians. So on this side, it is inscribed on this side of the wall is the city of Theseus. And then you go over to this side. Well, we'll just walk through it. Probably piss somebody off by getting into their pictures. <laughs> but you gotta walk through the arch, right? And then on this side, it's inscribed up there. And on this side is the city of Hadrian which is pretty cool and uh, as you can see so the bottom part is ancient Roman and the top part is ancient Greek so it's just kind of like to honor the past and also a nod to the future but Hadrian thought he was a god so here we got some another view of the, of the temple over here let's go over there and check that temple out here we are, just inside the gate to the Temple of Zeus. This place is fairly close to the Acropolis, as you can possibly see. There it is up there on the hill. It's only about a mile walk from here. Just pretend like we're walking in. There's some other stuff that's hanging out here. Let's go find it. So this is the map of the area. That big thing in the middle, that's that's where the Temple of Zeus stood. This thing had 119 columns, I think. It's absolutely ridiculous. Not very many of them are left. Part of the ancient road here. I believe this was a Roman bathhouse. It's the the wall of Themistocles, and this is also where the the gate of Aesius was. A lot of these people that we're naming here, I have no idea who they are. Have to look into that later. Yeah, so here's a good a good example of a Roman bathhouse. place to see when it was in its heyday. Another, another angle here. So here 
here's a nice panoramic shot of the temple. Like I said, there was 119 pillars, I think. And at the time it was built, it was the biggest temple in all of ancient Greece, Roman era. I think, I think 17 pillars are still standing. And up until the 19th century, that one that's laying down was still standing, but it got blown over by some wind. This is where, this was a classical Roman era house. Here. Usually when you see uh, these reliefs and there's somebody sitting down, that's who is buried there. <laughs> but this is where this relief was found. The chick sitting down there, she's the one who was buried. All of these rocks here are pieces of the temple they haven't been able to figure out how to put back together. It's unfortunate. <laughs> It'd be so cool if they could put the whole thing back together, wouldn't it? So we could see it in its former glory. That would be so awesome. Again, it's dilapidated. Ancient beauty is absolutely gorgeous and stunning as well. Yeah, I mean, look at all of this stuff that they, they've found. And they have an idea of where it's supposed to go. They just don't have all the pieces in order to do it. It's insane how much marble there is right here. Get a little bit closer idea of the detail that went into carving this rock. They even, they put it together like Legos. <laughs> so, hey Lego, I think you owe the Romans some uh, royalties. <laughs> piece of stone there's a wood block and they've, they've got a number that's so they know where exactly it's supposed to fit into the puzzle man could you imagine putting that together trying to put that together it's This temple, it took over 650 years for him to complete building it. And then it only lasted for a hundred years <laughs> before it started falling apart. If you look at just this part, you can kind of get an idea of just how unimaginably amazing this place was. It's just, all of this was full of columns. In this piece here, you can kind of get an idea of how they put these columns together so they wouldn't fall over. It'd be pretty difficult to knock out of there. 
take a hell of an earthquake, I'm thinking. And then right here, I think, as well. But, uh, yeah, this, this thing is totally inscribed. It's quite a piece of rock. <laughs> And over here we got an ancient bench and probably a bathtub from over there from the from the Roman baths. But I guess that could also be a coffin. Well, a little bit big to be a coffin though. Another cool fact about this temple, well, as I said earlier, it took 650 years to complete it. Right about the time that they completed it is when Hadrian came and took it over. They say that it was, it, it housed two giant golden statues. One of them was a giant golden statue of Zeus the other one was a giant golden statue of Hadrian because he saw himself as a god. Let's be honest, he acted a lot like a god. He, they found archaeological ruins of Hadrian all over Europe. Probably, there are probably some down in Africa as well and into the Middle East. I don't know for sure, but more than likely. Here. I think this is probably going to be the temple of Apollo, but I'm not 100% sure. So everywhere you see one of these pylons here, there was a statue, which I believe all of these statues are over in the archaeological museum. Last time I was here, this was all open as well. I, I can't remember for sure, but I think it was. It's sad because get over there you could get a picture with the temple Adrian's arch and the Acropolis all together and that would be a super super cool picture to have a selfie with go ahead and check this video out here we're going to go to the most recent series that we have planned right now tasting travel down here, there's another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe. And if you're in Seattle, put a bag of bills. And as always, eat great food.